so um, that was Miss Tullo from the PTA. And I am looking around and it's good to see some fathers. I wish we had more, but we want to appreciate those who we are. So we want to appreciate those fathers. Because most times it's just the mothers who come up because the fathers don't see it as important. But it's good. And so mothers, the next time you're coming, try and take the fathers. Which you let them ask for the time out. Because if they had something else to do, they could ask. Even if they're working, they take the time out to do other business. So let them take the time out for their children. Nothing is more important than their children. Or should be more important than their children. So yeah, we want to appreciate you fathers who are here present. Item the wise old home by the graduates.
so we are at a very important part of our function, the principal's report. The principal's report is what happened throughout the year. So whatever supports or support you gave or you didn't, then we hear all the achievements throughout the year. But one thing I am sure of, the children were taught and they learned. From the little that I am seeing, they did learn. And so this evening, we will have our principals report. <laughs> soldier and a teacher And the 
children in care to work cooking. They're big and they make their cake and we're having it. But we had a wedding celebration here.
I was very, very confused. I was I was coming from a daycare situation where everything was pasta peeling. Now to be thrown in here on a little kaya bed, I didn't know what to do, but I did what I had to. And for years we struggled, and when COVID came, we struggled online, but we still struggled. And then Carl and his team, I met them by accident in 2017. And sometimes it is, it is good to do good, because you don't know how you're going to be repaid. It was a busload of them, 150, and some of you know this story, because I've told it before. And they were coming to have family reunion somewhere in this area, but they wanted to use a restroom. Now at Timothy Bird, we had two knocked up bathrooms, two knocked up things. There weren't nothing to be proud of, but people wanted to go and I would not allow them to not use it. So I said, go ahead, man, use it. I'll give you water to flush when you're finished. And they all, 150 of them used the facility. And when they finished, they came back out, they saw my makeshift advertisement board, and they saw my wish list, and they took the pictures. And some of them were teachers, and they said, I'm gonna come back. Years passed, I, Carl would come and give toys to the children, but he always said, I'm gonna do something for the school. I'm gonna be renovating the school. No, last year, summer, July, he came out in July, a team of 11 of them. What, the youngest one was 19 years old, a 19 year old boy was there, and they worked for five days. And this is a product of what they gave to us. Also during that summer, when I came to Lucky here before, they Roof in the kitchen was leaking like a river. I didn't know when I was inside or outside when it rained in the kitchen. And I remember not telling anybody, but taking some money out of my pocket and buying some zinc 12 sheets that call one liquor master man from my community. And I said, rope in, man, I told him I got to do something. He said, you can put up zinc, I said, no worry yourself. Just as long as you come, zinc will go. And he tore away in the summer and we put up those zinc. We barely had support those days, but God has been good to us. And seven is a good number, don't it? Don't you think so? Yes. I feel that seven is a number of completion. So when I came to Lucky Hill, I was worried as to what I would have been doing here. I didn't see much to work with, but I work with the little that I had. And I always say, little is much when God is in it. Amen. Yeah, so I, we worked on the building, we work, we work, we work. We threw out a lot of things and we put in and we threw out and we put in. And I used to hide behind Miss Jackie and burn everything. Because as soon as I put it out, if I don't burn it in a man, she put it in back. So I, I used to hide behind her and sometimes she said, when we go back, I said, Miss Jackie, you see so and so? No, I must say money. That, that's all you no good for. Yeah, so we can't find it. Me and Mary might have burnt it, yes. Because we, we were the cleaning team and we're always burning. We just want to get rid of the old stuff and bring in new things, yes. So we did that. Carl and his 11 colleagues, and they worked for five days. I, and they put in his drop ceiling. We didn't have electricity in here. You remember me saying, no electricity in here, so. And then run all of these. We didn't have fans. Fans were something we don't know. They gave us five ceiling fans, uh, wall fans. They gave us five computer. They gave us 29 tablets. And the Ministry of Education gave us three. Yes. So, um, you know, we have quite a few tablets. Carl put in Wi-Fi and he pays the bill. It's giving us a lot of hiccup now, so maybe the bill is not paid. So guess what? I'm going to... Carl might have been overwhelmed. Probably he has forgotten also. So today, before any of you go home, I'm going to beg you all a $1,000 so that I can pay the bill. 
in full so that I have yes surplus and even when if Carl paid I will still be putting it there so that we have it I don't like to come here and don't have it all right so um I know some of you guys say you never travel with no money I miss my love money you know, you know so I know some love money but I don't take the money for myself I've never done that Right, so whatever you have today, do not leave unless you give Auntie right there in that striped blue and white dress. Give it to her, she will make it provide and see if it can become like the five loaves and the bread. All right, okay. Um, on September 5th, 2022, we started out with an enrollment of 29 students, 12 boys and 17 girls. The figures were at first disappointing, but I said to the team, let's make sure that when these students walk out, they do so gracefully. Let's love them and see them shine. And that's what we did, what we are doing, and what we continue to do. As we came to the end of the first term, the enrollment went to a high of 39. 10 more students were enrolled we prayed and played and had fun learning and forging new bonds but through it all we were surrendering to god's grace and were thankful for his mercies as we held firm in january we began with an enrollment of 42 students <laughs> three staff members alongside the cook it became evident that if the children's needs were to be met and standards kept, we would need to have additional help. So after a needed discussion and, and meet and greet with, amongst ourselves, we, we accepted the proposal from one of our parents to volunteer to assist in keeping the environment clean. Also keeping in mind the COVID standards as COVID was strands were popping up left, right and center across the globe. We also had a system with K1, a hard training in the no other person than Miss K Montre, we call her Auntie K here. Our teachers continue to attend professional development training and seminars, some online while others face to face. The resilience of the Timothy Burke family continued to be evident as we saw our parents and the larger community came together and support our annual sports day event. The fun was enough and learning was evident. Anybody remember who kept which house which house we? We have a strong feeling selective man also I know we still feel so man. But guess what? Guess what? We're all winners at Timothy Burke. So even if I came last, I still think I won. Alright? As I conclude my report, I must acknowledge and thank my team for the best year yet. Sometimes I know you hate my guts for always demanding so much from you. But please remember, we are building the future, and so the groundwork needs to be what? Solid. We need to have a solid groundwork. That's the reason I demand lesson plans. Yeah. Yeah, they were always high. They, they, they don't like me that time. But I love them just the same. I mean, because they must still love them, yeah. My chairman, I thank you for giving me the freedom to break Timothy Burke gracefully. Your support is appreciated. My other stakeholders, my parents, my community representative, thank you for allowing me seven years of growth within your homes, your families, your community. I really appreciate working alongside you all. You have been keeping me on my toes. Last but by no means least, my children, the people I love selflessly, the, and who loves me 
the same. The reason we are here and the reason this report is being reported, commendation is extended to you all. The, the K ones, you have grown and I saw it. No longer do you eat straight around the clock. You have developed routine. K2, commendation is also extended to you. For the interactive year, you all did well in your JSRA age four exams. And for the few who have not mastered, you will have intervention coming next school year. K3, we have a great we had a we have had a great year and I really enjoy learning with you. I'm not sure if I must cry or dance or I just don't do anything at all. But I'm sure going to miss you guys. There were never a dull moment with K3 in the building. You can be sure that something is going to get broken, something is going to get thrown away, and something is going to be destroyed. K3 is in the building. Oh. <laughs> the fights, the fights, the fights. I tell you, they fight this minute, and the next minute, them love one another. Yes. With K3 in the building, our eyes and ears had to be sharp, and our steps agile. Thanks for, for being you. I've tried breaking you gracefully, but I know you are still work in progress. I hope you go on to your, primary, your individual primary schools and do your utmost best. Please remember that it takes hard work and dedication to get anywhere. So don't give up when it gets rough. There won't be any auntie to come crying to when you can't manage the, the task that was given to you. There won't be any auntie to come crying to when you fall and get a boo-boo on your knees. All right? You need to be firm. Auntie won't be there. Auntie Jackie's not going to be there, Auntie Mary won't be there, and Auntie Miss Mark not going to be there. That's okay. So you need to be, make sure those backbones are strong, because we're sending you over, and we hope, and we hope that when those of you who are going to go, Auntie Telfer will take care of you. But I don't know for how long. All right? I... And that's my little bit of reporting. I'm not really good at reporting, and I tend to talk a whole lot. And if you allow me, uh, tomorrow you know, leave here and tell you everything. My children are my chat so I need to stop talking now and hand back the mic to Auntie Thank you very much. Superman, Superman. 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 This you have to love children. In order to do this, Miss Mark, you have to love children. And um, it was a full report, everything, detail, everything that was done. And parents, you see some of the things that they do. Because guess what? Some of these children may have never been to a wedding before, because normally people keep in a wedding, they say, one or two persons, you can't take children. So you see they act out and yes, yeah, so they get the experience. And so that is what this foundation is all about. Building them in every way. Give another clap for our principal. We'll now be have an item by K3. Let no one steal your dream.
children. <laughs> Let no one steal your dream. We will now have the valedictory speech. This will be done by Sashani Small.